One time I asked my uh, uh, attorney in Mississippi, who was a civil rights attorney, and, uh, and, and uh, I asked him, what is justice? And he said, justice is, a, is not status. It is not something you get and keep. It is not something you can get and can, and now you got justice. You know, he said it's um, eternal vigilant. It's forever looking and seeing what's wrong, and it's always trying to make an application to make it right. And that's why we have legislative bodies. We have Congress. We have state houses. We have uh, city councils. Those are, those are justice councils. You understand? In the Old Testament, there was the elders that stood at the gate, and they were responsible for justice for the people in, in, in the courts inside the city. And, and so justice is a moving target, is a moving target. And we're going to talk about it tonight. And usually when we talk about racial justice in America, we are pretty well talking about blacks because of the severity of, of enslaving of a people and the kind of psychological enslavement of own black folks in this country. But it's a, and when we talk about, are we there yet? It's such a moving target until it will move as blacks might begin to achieve it. It will then move to another people. Uh, because justice in reality is an economic issue. Uh, biblical justice is an economic issue. It's a stewardship issue. It is how we manage God's earth. And the first thing you got to know about justice is that the earth is the Lord and the earth is God's provision base for human life. And that he really gave a steward of this earth to Adam and Eve or to humanity. And he told them to manage it, subdue it, use it, exploit it, but use it for preserve it, protect it and use it for the enhancing of life. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.